All right, so let's check out another septic tank. See how it's looking. So before you check your septic, gather all the things you're gonna need. Um, I have a shovel for checking the crust. I've got a long pipe, a tube sock, and some duct tape, and some gloves. I will use these things to check how thick the crust is and how thick the sludge is on the bottom of the tank. You gotta locate the septic tank. These ones are easy, they're right at the surface the way they should be. If not, it's gonna be a little more difficult. I'm gonna have to find the thing buried underground somewhere. So we'll come over here, open this thing up. All right, so lots of flies in here, but let's look down here and see what it looks like. Okay, lots of flies on there, but as far as the crust looks, you know, it's dark brown. There's not a lot of uh, white, chalky, or green buildup in the riser here or on it so uh, looks and smells pretty healthy not sure what's going on with all the flies but they're happy so let's check how thick that is okay check the crust I'm gonna take a shovel stick it down in here and I'm gonna poke the crust and I'm going to pull this crust back. I'm going to do this with the camera without dropping my phone. You look at that. You see it's floating about two inches or so above the water line. Which means there's about six inches total in here. So... Not quite there, uh, getting pretty close. Alright, so you take your uh, husband's favorite tube sock, find yourself a nice long pole or pipe, whatever, and slide the sock up over the end and stretch it, stretch it up a ways, okay? And take some duct tape. it up a little ways. Okay, so you've got, well here, you got like over two feet, well, 24 inches of area to check. Okay, then you're going to come over to your septic tank and push this down through the inlet T to the bottom of the tank. You don't want to push this through the crust because that'll mess up your clean sock and you won't be able to see how much sludge is in there. So you want to go through this inlet tee because this water is going to be relatively clean through there to the bottom. So we'll do that. So we'll push this all the way down. Get to the bottom. And then you want to turn this around a couple times just to give it a nice mark on the sock. Alright, so bring it up. So you can see on here it's about six inches of sludge on the bottom according to our tube sock. So let's check with the sludge judge and see what it says. Judge is showing 
about six inches. That's a foot, about six inches. So you see, you can get a good measurement with the sock. This is definitely preferred, but if you got a sock, do it. All you gotta do is go wash the sock real fast so your husband doesn't know you used it to check the septic tank. So my recommendation on this septic tank, as you saw we have about six inches on top, six inches on the bottom. And the stuff on top, that was the thickest right around the inlet tee. So as it goes back into the tank a little bit, it's more like four inches. So this tank is about halfway there. Um, definitely gonna wait on pumping it. It's good and healthy, didn't smell like rotten eggs, uh, nice brown crust in there. Um, so yeah, this tank is about halfway there. This is about a two-year-old system with a family of uh, six in there. So uh, it just gives you an idea about how fast some of them can build. Uh, this tank probably be pumped in another two years.